I'm going to use my gel cream blushes and my fingers to apply because this is going to dry into a satin type of finish. So it's not going to be sticky and gooey, which means it's going to leave kind of a stain, if you will, on my face. Which, if I'm dripping wet sweat, if I want you to think about this, you spill Kool-Aid on your carpet. Powder Kool-Aid. If you just leave the powder, you can vacuum it up. But if water, if you spill some water now on top of that powder Kool-Aid, it becomes one with the carpet, right? So that's kind of what we're doing with the finishing spray. So now we've got our powders, we've got our blush. Time to spray again. And do not be shy. It's okay, get it on there, all right? This is equivalent to the powder being on the face, powder being on the carpet, and then putting water over top of the powder Kool-Aid. It now becomes more Kool-Aid than it is powder, right? Okay, so same with your makeup. When you use the finishing spray over top of the powders, it helps the makeup become one with the skin rather than sit on top of the skin. This is an easy weathered look, guys. I can go out, it's 99, I'll be able to go out and look like I'm rolling with the weather rather than going against it. I hope you enjoyed, my friends.